Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay, there's my glasses. There they are. You can do it like this. It's right over there. So uh, we have one by Almanac Beer Company. And this one's called Side Hustle Hazy IPA. It says fresh, unfiltered, dank. It comes in at 6.1% alcohol by volume. And uh, it says hazy IPA dry hopped with rotating hops. And they are from... Uh, where are they from? Alameda. Alameda, California. Okay. It says here, each batch side hus of hot side hustle hazy IPA is extra dank, extra disco, and all around extra. Scan the code below for our current playlist of hops. Malt is Pilsner Wheat. So you got to scan this little thing here to find out what hops are in it. Uh, this puppy is about mm, a couple months old. This should be fine. That's what the can looks like. Okay. Never had this before. Never seen it before. Nothing. Um, I picked this up at total wine and more for like uh, five bucks for a pint so let's get it cracked open and see what we got here I've been pretty impressed with the uh, almanac beer so far they're they definitely uh, have a unique taste to them that is different from most others all right pretty hazy look doesn't look like a New England but definitely hazy all right there we go I can smell it from here it smells really good Almanac, Side Hustle, Hazy IPA. Okay, get some gnarly glaze here. What the heck? What's going on here? No, it's not that. Anyways, so we have a a big, foamy, frothy, silky head, not really creamy, and uh, we have a kind of a light orange hazy going here it's pretty hazy but not like super duper hazy okay right there you can see let's uh, kill this light real quick All right, and this one. I'm gonna do a little light show. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see it. It's pretty hazy. I've seen hazier, but I don't think they're going for New England here. I don't think so. So let's do this one. This one works better. Do that every time, man. Okay. All right. Good looking beer. All right. Yeah, good looking. So you can see through it a little bit there. Okay. Getting a rum on this puppy. Oh yeah, right up front, big citrusy notes. Big grapefruit note. 
just like their other beers had big grapefruit notes. Their their beers always they seem to run grapefruit forward. Yeah, like orange and grapefruit, but it's uh, pretty grapefruity. No mango. Maybe a tiny bit of pine. Some floralness. But mostly grapefruit, orange, uh, and some mango and pine and floralness. A little lemon zest, maybe. That's pretty much what I'm getting. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mm. Not bad. Grapefruit. Grapefruit peel. It's got a little bite to it. Yeah, taste follows the aroma. It's got a kind of a it's a little thin, a little watery. Um, it's got a medium light kind of mouth feel. Yeah. So I'm gonna drink on it for a little bit and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back and sipping on it for a little bit and it's all right, you know, it is a little thin, a little watery. Yeah, but it would be a good one on a hot day. It's kind of refreshing. Um, it's definitely not blowing me away. Um, to be honest, it, it tastes almost just like the other Almanac beers that I've uh, reviewed already. They all kind of have the similar taste just like same beer in a different can pretty much yeah i'm getting kind of like a a, a slight kind of a saison-y kind of note like a little barnyard funky kind of note coming through a little bit yeah but definitely like grapefruit orange and some little, little mango maybe a little pine or some maybe light floralness but um that's pretty much what i'm getting on this it's a pretty tasty beer though don't get me wrong, it's different than a lot of the IPAs out there, or hazies. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. So uh, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this one a, probably like a 3.9. It's okay, I, I don't think I'll pick it up again, um, but it is what it is, right? Um, so... 3.9 it is. That's my story. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to swill it one more time just in case I can pick up something else. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty tasty though. You know, IBUs aren't through the roof. Uh, you know, it's only 6.1%. Yeah, that's that's probably, yeah, 6.1%. That's, that's part of the reason why it probably doesn't have much of a, a malt to it. Um, and it's a little thin, but it still has pretty tasty uh, hop action. Yeah, 3.9. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate that, and uh, we'll catch you all later. See ya.